I am Ryan Rabjohn. I'm out here at McKee Bridge, Oregon for the 100th Centennial. I live out in Applegate, Oregon. And I dress the way I do, I suppose. Uh, mainly, I just feel like I'm in the wrong era, almost. Um, I've been probably doing this around, I'd say, 14 to 15 years. Today's society, uh, it might be kind of a trope, but um, it just doesn't seem as polite uh, as it used to be back in the day. And of course, not saying that back in the day there weren't rude people, but uh, it seemed like people looked out for each other a lot more back then. I, I try to have Re relive, I suppose, would be a word. Um, the past. So, back in the day, for example, if somebody was uh, broke down on the side of the road, the first person that came along would normally stop by and ask at least if they are all right. Uh, nowadays, you see somebody on the side of the road and they're broke down, people are passing by them because they assume that they have a towing service. For me, particularly, uh, back in the day would be uh, 1930s, 1940s. Um, that is at least my uh, type of era that I feel comfortable in. Um, there, there are like some of these other people uh, that, that are going into the, the late 1800s, 1860s, and on up to 1920s, um, but. I feel like the, the 30s and 40s were really the, uh, the changing era, uh, especially for, for America. Um, women's rights were, were coming into play. Uh, there was uh, the starts of uh, movements for, for you know, African-American rights. Um, and then it led into what would be the, the 50s, which some argue is the uh, pinnacle of our industrial and uh, cultural era. Uh, my family on my mother's side was in California uh, during the 30s and 40s. Um, they definitely hit it rough. Uh, they were doing the, the small, the, 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 dirty, the dirty work. Um, so dishwasher at a re local restaurant. Um, half of them actually didn't have jobs. Um, so they, they really hit the, the depression hard. My, my father's side, however, was up here in Oregon and they were doing logging back in those days. Yeah, uh, they weren't here necessarily in the Applegate, but they definitely were in the Rogue Valley area. Where, where did they log? What was your dad's name? Uh, my father's name was Steve Rabjohn. Uh, he worked for Medco for 30 years, and then uh, Sierra Pine took over and he worked for them. And now, uh, finally, Roseburg took over Sierra and he's currently working for them still uh, in Mefford. Most of, most of the changes uh, that happened, at least in my lifetime, uh, were, were very subtle. Uh, road closures, uh, reopening, uh, a, lot, a lot of businesses uh, went out. The Elks Club in uh, Mefford, they went out. They couldn't find enough mef members. Um, and they, they ended up selling off a lot of uh, different memor memorabilia. Um, a lot of good things have happened as well, though. Uh, the Holly Theater, it has a current restoration progress to it. Um, back in the 80s somewhere, they had a auction where they sold off a lot of 
uh, memorabilia from um, the Holly, and uh, a lot of people were afraid that it was going to be torn down afterwards. But uh, somewhere in the early 2000s, I believe, uh, the Holly was sold at auction, uh, and the current owners, which do Jefferson Radio, uh, are trying to restore it. I suppose ever since I was I was little, I've been uh, I've been a part of uh, Mefford Railroad Park, and I'm not sure what what about it that that really interests me. But uh, I, I ended up involving myself in such activities as uh, I've been re helping restore uh, the Medco Six out there. Uh, definitely find find your niche in life and go with it.